We have reached Dublin. This is what I'm doing. I'm in Dublin and I'm filming on my phone. So it's a bit like a first time, which is kind of cute. I'm very tired. I'm very hungry and I can't sleep, which is very annoying. But whatever. Um, I am very hungry. I'm watching I'm a Celeb. Team Marvin. Anyways, uh, I am in Dublin for PFL, which is the Professional Fighters League. Because, you know, she's a fighter. I'm not a fighter at all. But I'm here. I'm very excited. I'll be even more excited when I've eaten and when I've slept. I've had a shower, so I'm clean. Just waiting to see what happens. Kirstie's not here yet. Kirstie's on her way now, and then I won't be on my own. I've been on my own all day. I had to leave at five o'clock this morning. <sighs> I flew from Leeds Bradford, which wasn't too bad. Leeds is like my local airport, so I prefer it to Manchester. Oh, no sleep. And on this cereal bar in my stomach. I just can't wake up before I'm ready to without feeling really ill. Like, if anyone knows what the science behind that is, I would love to hear it. Because I, I do, I feel very, very sick and I feel terrible now. I've actually got heartburn right now. So I'm praying that we don't get a call to, like, get glam and go do something. But I don't think they will. Today, it, I'm pretty sure it's like a media day for the fighters. And it's travel day for me. I'll be working tomorrow. I'm just settling in today. I've had a look around. because I've already said I'm in Dublin. There's a few places I can get some food around here. Uh, so I'll see what Kelsey says when she gets here. What she fancies. So yeah, this is what this video is. If you haven't read the title. It's my Dublin blog. Anyways. And yeah, I don't like that I'm having to film this all on my phone, but you know, whatever. A girl's gonna do what a girl's gonna do. It's maybe a bit, maybe it might feel a bit more intimate. Like, like we are, that we're our first time. That's kind of cute. We'll just roll with that. Very boring day. Well, a very tiring day. And I would have filmed more had I not felt like I was like gonna throw up every five minutes, but it happens every time I have to travel early. Pretty sure tomorrow is the weigh ins. And I stand there like this. For far too long. The last time I did that one, we first did it when I was in Paris. Oh my gosh. The second the camera comes off you, you like trying to crack your jar into place because it's very uncomfortable. But I think that's what we're doing tomorrow. And then it's fight night on Friday. I'll probably explain a bit later on like how I got here because like what does someone like me have to do with fighting? Good question. Don't even know myself. So I'll probably explain that later. I would I my intention was to film it in the airport. Didn't happen. So whoops. I'm here. I'm alive. Will comes on Sunday. No, he comes on Friday. He's coming to watch the fight. And we go home on Sunday. So my baby gets to come see me work and uh, we get to explore Dublin together I will check in with you later au revoir hey. we're up close and personal so nothing happened last night we ordered some food watched I'm a Celeb and went to bed that is what we did but today, it's weigh-ins, so we're doing that next, that's why we're all glam. Um, but we're getting some lunch first because we are starving. We did see a Mexican like burrito place that we're we want to try, but we've, we've come for, for some lunch, so... So yeah, here's the tree. Hi. Here's Casey in the tree. Here's Casey. That's a nice one, this one. It looks so cute. It's like Christmas tree. That is right now. 
So hopefully there's some clips of us at the Waynes because we can't film them because we are on the stage. Um, probably gonna recap my hair, go get dressed when we've eaten so it's not come yet. And that's that, so. I'll see you later. Okay. That's so unladylike. We're ready. I'm in blue. Can't really see, but I'm in blue. We are about to head down to the weigh-ins and be on TV or whatever. We've got our outfits, our, what's the fucking, PFL right there, Professional Fighters League. You know what I'm saying? We've had our lunch, so we're not going to be starving. Um, it should only be there a couple hours, I think. And then I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day. So, let's go. Hey guys, so it is Friday the 8th of December. So it's five night. Not much happened after yesterday. We did the weigh-ins. They got broadcasted. Kessie and I went and got something to eat and that was it really, not much happening. So yeah, we're getting ready now and um, I think we need to be ready for like two. Meet and greet is at four, four till five and then it starts at five. Will is on his way. But yeah, not much is happening right now. The fire alarm went off, which was fun. But yeah, that's just a check-in right now. Hopefully we get some good videos. I'm excited to see what happens. Literally, we saw like most of the fighters at breakfast this morning. It's so funny seeing them because like they sat like two tables away from each other. You know, having a nice casual breakfast, and then they're gonna be beating each other bloody in a few hours. So that's fun. <laughs> I'm very tired. That's it, really. So let's see how it goes later. Okay. in the arena it took us like 10 minutes to do a five minute drive because of all of the traffic and we're very hungry um so we're gonna go see if we can eat because catering has packed up and my hair's dropped so Thank you. Thank you. Know, you. Know, when you're coming back forth, you got to leave the ring. Yeah, okay, cool. do you know what's going on at all? Like, what you we're never. doing? Be optimistic. I know. I know. I'm going to go find food. Yeah. So, <laughs> passes. Let's go. We're starved. <gasps> Hello. What's up? <laughs> this place is so nice. I'm going to try it. I love it, it's got loads of flavour in This is really good They're making Kirstie a chicken wrap It's embarrassing <laughs> She doesn't like onion um, It's in everything though, isn't it? Honestly, but if I've got a dish and there's onions in it I just can't eat it mm. This is why I'm like eating out with my boyfriend because he'll always go <laughs> Yeah I'm eating Right, we're here Backstage, stages up there. We're just gonna get some pictures. I'm in blue. Um, we got something to eat, as you just saw. And um, I'm pretty sure it's like 25 to um, five. Doors are open. Meet and greets happening. What the fuck else? Um, so now we're just waiting. We need to be ringside by like quarter past five. Show starts at half past. Championships. 
Jacob Nedda and Dakota Dick. I want to say your name wrong. Thank you. We've wrapped. It's a wrap. We are finished. We are done. We're in the ring. Of course. Sunday, um, flight time was Friday, it's very dark, um, Will flew out and we spent the day in Dublin yesterday, literally nothing happened, um, there was a severe weather warning, so Christmas markets were shut, um, we just went, had something to eat, um, had a few drinks, well, We'll have Guinness and I had water and lemonade. Um, and now we are heading to the airport. <sighs> and I'm tired. And I have this pen here again. So I feel really crap. But at least I'll be able to go to sleep. So. I'm back home, back with the towel on my head. I'm gonna make this quick because I've literally just recorded this and the sound was terrible. Um, again, I'm sorry, I am recording this on my phone so it's not incredible. I'm praying this like, doesn't make the same noise again. I just wanna, first of all, um, like I said, it was a bit awkward, I finished on fight night on the Friday and then just went straight to Sunday today um so basically everyone else flew home on Saturday um whereas because Will was here I stayed another day and we came home today and we just spent the day in Dublin um it was very boring I can't lie I'm not gonna lie to you it was yeah it wasn't the most fun um there was a severe weather warning so like Christmas market the Christmas market was shut um so we just went drinking well Will had Guinness and I drank water and lemonade but yeah, um, I'm so glad he was there. So maybe he'll come to the next fight if we get booked again. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much I can say because I don't really know so much as to what's going on next year. But apparently there's a few fights next year. But of course, I don't know if I'm a part of them. So I have to wait until I'm actually booked for it. Um, but if there's some in the UK, then maybe he'll be there with his friends and maybe my family will go. It was, it was quite an easy day, to be honest. Um, so that was yesterday. Um, I do actually want to talk about, like, why the fuck do I work for PFL? Like, what do I have to do with fighting? Because so many people wondered this, and I, uh, I'm not even offended by that, because it's fair enough. I have to do with fighting? Uh, nothing. I've never shown any interest in it. If anything, I don't like it. I, I can't watch people get hurt. I don't like it. It makes me really sad. I'm trying to keep this like as short as possible because I've already recorded this and I don't want it to all be like because I'm very tired and I'm hungry if you can hear my stomach no you can't so if anyone here follows me on Instagram back in September you know I was in New York and when I was in New York I got a message um from my now agent Kaylee who owns memo management and she was like I'm Kaylee I've started a ring going agency and i'd love to have you on my books because she's a friend of my first agent my mother agency um which is m models i was like yeah she'll go on when i actually it was the day i got back from new york which was the second the plane landed and like i turned airplane mode off my phone the first message that came through was saying that i was going to paris with pfl and obviously that was huge so you're probably thinking, why would they book you? Why not get some French ring girls? Why not get proper, like, professional ring girls who've been doing it for years? Um, basically, PFL are doing something a little bit different where they wanted the ring girls to be their own part of it. 
not just ring girls. We're basically a form of marketing in a way, like, you know, we post loads of stuff on social media and they post us, we post them. So it was really to get PFL to reach new audiences and um, it was a brave move by them, like, let's be honest, like, my audience is mainly women who just want to see, you know, what outfits, where my outfits are from. So this is completely different to what I do. Um, so I did think it was like a very bold move of them to make, like booking me, especially like, I'm not going to talk for Casey, um, because like, I just do not like violence. I don't like people getting hurt. Like I see now what their goal was and it was to bring new people in and for them to see a different aspect of this because I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it earlier but like one of the craziest things to me was like when we got to Paris we didn't know who the fighters were, we didn't know who was fighting who, if they were a fighter or not and um, then on fight night when they're all coming up or like in the weigh-ins when we're actually seeing them go face to face with each other it was like they were having breakfast together this morning what the fuck so strange because like you think they're just like oh they have to hate each other to want to hurt each other and there's so many of them that don't they're good friends they they get on really well and they're sat having tea with each other's mums <laughs> but obviously that's Casey and I's job to show you guys a different side of it it is I've got a whole different look outlook on the spot I'm very grateful for the opportunities that, opportunities that I have been given through them. So, fingers crossed for 2024. We'll have to see what happens. But I do want to say, like, a massive thank you because I was booked for the following I have online. And obviously I wouldn't have that without you. You. So, I'm very grateful because because of you, I do get these opportunities and... It's only fair that I bring you along. And um, I'm going to say, please do not expect me to be really active on YouTube now. I'm still the same of me, still not a YouTuber. It's nice to be able to share a different outlook on this spot. And I don't know, maybe, maybe you might get into it. Maybe you might start watching. I know a few people actually messaged me and were like, they said they watched it just to try and spot me, which I thought was really fun. Would you come to see me? Because you can come see me. I don't mind if you do. You can come take pictures with me as well. Which is kind of fun. It's always really crazy when they actually know me by name. I, I think it's still like very surreal to me that um, people do actually know who I am. Like, I'm not, actually. Because my whole thing is, like, oh, I'm not a real person because I'm, like, never anywhere. Like, so when people actually do know me, it's, like... So, I'm sorry this kind of got really lazy at the end, but um, it is what it is. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone once again. And um, I love you all very much. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope maybe you've learnt something or, I don't know, enjoyed it i don't know i don't know but i do have a lot of love for you i'm very grateful so i will see you next time